Good morning, good folk. I'm Scott from the old Curiosity Shop, waiting in line at Dunkin' Donuts in South Jersey, and then I'm on my way to lovely Hagerstown, Maryland, where I'm going to be doing a lot of antique shopping, sourcing uh, with The Vintage Vinny. So when next you see me, I will be thrifting in Maryland, I hope. So I, I have arrived in Hag Hagerstown, Maryland. Should I, am I allowed to say it? Yeah. It doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where I am, and we're gonna go thrifting. Well, is it an antique store, or is it a thrift shop first, Vinny? No, this first place is called, I don't remember the name of it, but it supports an animal hospital. It's a small, small shop. Okay. But, good prices. Okay, well, let's go and see if we can, let's see if Vinny, is true to form, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he knows what he's talking It's his town, he ought to know. Well, that was a bust. The first place Vinny took me to is not open. <laughs> but you can get your eyebrows done. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that. No, no, neither do I. Okay, well, I guess shop number two, which is really gonna be shop number one. Right, okay. Plan B. Well, this is the first heartache, and I have to talk because they're blasting the Christmas music. Look at this flashed ruby red syrup, which is missing its top. Uh. These tops are really soft. Sometimes they're made out of pewter, and it would be fitted on there. Uh, but that's only $2. You know what? Somebody could buy it, take this off, but... There's probably damage to the top. They attach these on with kind of like a cement glue. Yeah, it's messed up on the top. It could still be a vase. Yeah. To put, um, you know, to put, I don't know, it's $2. Or something like that in it? Well, I'll, I'll put it in here and let myself think about it. But I have to tell you folks, probably it's going to be voiceover time because somebody is uh, caroling through the night and I think she's singing. Who is it? I don't know who uh, this is. Yeah, I think it's that um, Dion Warwick. Or, uh, <laughs> isn't that who it is? Well, they have wasted no time and the Christmas music is full blast. Here's a wonderful fired on uh, Lotus Plate out of Vitrock by Anchor Hawking. Vinny was very sad because he found a murdered Pyrex bowl. What's going on? Oh, I think he was trying to show me how his mother used to cut his hair. Now, here's a piece of crackle. It's called, the collectors call it by Cracky. And uh, it's an Ellie Smith product that goes way back to the late 20s to early 30s. I like it in amber and I like it in green crystal. Eh. So I think I left it on the shelf. But we're going to see more of it later. And another thrift shop, a whole bunch of plates. Well, we have moved on to a second location here. Um, uh, I'll tell you about these when we get outside. They might be older than you think. How old do you think these are? Now, there are no prices here. You have to take things up front and ask. Vinny, did you get a cart? Oh, oh, oh. there's a amber console bowl. Oh, actually, that does have a price on it, $2. But there's a lot of paint chipping off of it. Mm, that butter dish top. I don't think that's an old one. Okay. Well, I guess I won't keep you in suspense. These were patented in 1916. Now they're missing their inserts, which 
I'm just going to assume that they had glass inserts when they were new. Ooh, 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 this is the Homer Lachlan in this eggshell color. It's a southwestern pattern. Let's look at these. Um, two of these soups. Let's check the date on these. Everybody remember, we haven't done this in a while. Where we play the game to check the date of the Homer Lachlan. I know I'm out of focus. Hold on. Okay, so it says on there. Well, that's hard to read. For M forty N eight. Which letter of the alphabet is M? And skip the letter I. I think it's one. Um, like so, A B A B C D E F G H. Wait a minute, that can't be right. M. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. We're doing this wrong. They do their, um... Okay, so it's 1940. Oh, M. Yeah, M. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Skip I. M is December. Because M is the 13th letter of the alphabet, right? Isn't this awful? We can't, we don't even know. You can't think when you're on camera. You just can't. Yeah, but you're on, I don't have, you think, and I'll just film you. I can't think. My brain doesn't work like a, that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. M is the 13th letter of the alphabet, but they didn't use the letter I because it looks like a one. Mm -hmm. So M is actually 12. These were made in December <laughs> 1940. I would have never thought that or guessed that, but that's good to know. Oh, it's the way that you date the um, Homer Lachlan. <clears throat> December of 1930. Let me put these in the cart. Vinny scored on a German flower frog. Let's get her up there. Hold on, let me get it up to where you can see it. That's old, too. Let's show them. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love she's holding a fish. Yeah, let's look at the Germany mark on the back. Let me make sure I can find it first. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, 5907 Germany. That. Can you everybody see that? So this piece, I think, Vinny, actually goes back to the 30s. Really? Yeah, I think it's that old. Okay. I think the German pieces were marked like that before the war. Very cool. I'm not an expert on that, but that's that... that we're gonna have to look her up. I think you scored on that. I think you have a, what do you think she's, and she's, she, there's no damage on her at all? Well, you mentioned that little stress oh, crack, but yeah, that's. yeah, there's a little, are you thinking about selling her? I might keep her for a while and then I'll sell her. Cause you know, I like these figure all ladies. Well, I think, I think that she's a $80 piece. I think you just paid for the whole trip paid for my gas <laughs> <laughs> these little things uh i like these a lot because i like that pattern by homer lachlan but how, how much are they going to charge me for these i don't know we're going to have to find out uh there aren't any chips on them and the southwestern stuff is popular oh well, we'll throw it in there Maybe they'll just quote us prices. More. Now, I know these are old, but somebody I was watching somebody who sold something like this for a lot of money. Nah. Anyway. I have enough of this kind of stuff. I think Vinny takes the cake for finding that German flower frog. Vinny. You really did. These are... You know what? The last time I saw these, I pronounced this wrong, and 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 I was corrected. So I don't want to say it wrong again. What is it? It's English. No, is it? See, I think it's Titian. Yeah, and I said Titan. But I mean, oh, what? It's not a big deal. Titian wear. Yeah, but it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, I think so. That's what I get from it anyway. Somebody told me that it was really valuable. I don't know. 
They look kind of rough. At least this one does anyway, with utensil marks and everything. Yeah, there are a lot of utensil marks, but I don't know a lot about this. And I really don't, I'm not in the mood to have a bunch of dishes. <laughs> Even though I just bought, I'm thinking about buying those two Homer Lachlan dishes. Titian? Why would Because it's spelled like Titan. I mean, it's a probably an yeah. common mistake. I don't know. I didn't know what it was. Ooh. Oh, too bad there aren't any. Oh, no. So anyway, all right. Well, let's see what's around the corner. Yay, look what I found. This pink acrylic, uh hazel atlas stuff. This does really well. I wish there was a whole stack of them. That's what I wish. But I'll just take the one, the one dinner plate. It certainly has resale value. Hmm. Okay. That might be the end of the bric a brac. On to the furniture? Yeah, let's go to the furniture. Let's go to the furniture. I know, I love these deco things. It's a tough sell. People just don't like the waterfall front. I mean, we do. Everybody who's into the 30s loves it, but in terms of the uh, furniture market resale, it's tough. All right, Vinny, help me find a cream and green porcelain top kitchen table in original condition. <laughs> well, we set our mission. <laughs> See if we can find it. Oh. Who knows? And she told me that they uh, that they got a good donation glass. I needed to snack. Vinny had me buy these peanuts in that thrift shop. I didn't have you buy any. Who buys peanuts in a thrift shop? It's called Blackout Nuts and Candies. I didn't see the ingredients. You know what's in it? It burns your lips. It's got cayenne pepper. See that in the ingredients? Blackout Nuts and Candies. This person is oh, um, it's full of cayenne pepper. They're not that hot. He's exaggerating. No, I don't normally eat stuff like this. I don't eat that kind of thing. Where are we going? Going to a charitable thrift store that helps with military. Okay, let's go. This is $5 and unfortunately it's missing its lid. But that quality and that color glaze and that heftiness is only one company and that's Porcelier. You know it when you see it. That's a pattern I have not seen before. It's not, it's not common. There's some of them that are very common, but that one is not. And too bad it's missing its uh, top lid, rather, because I certainly would have purchased that. That's from uh, the 19, late 30s to early 40s. That's cute, that's cracked. Looks old. This little mustard pot thing here, it's got like a silver overlay on it. I wonder if this was made in Europe. Japan. Mm hmm. Oh my, I wonder who this is. I guess it's not the real thing, is it? Oh, what a really neat, fun, flashed on set. $6.99. But unfortunately, 
they put this tape on there. Of course, they didn't they didn't know that this was going to happen, but you can see it is ripping all the flash right off. Oh, that's just too bad because it's got the saucers with it. See that down there with all the colors? <clears throat> yeah, that's most unfortunate. So those those go back a ways. Oh well. This store is very clean and very well lit. But uh, I think that's the only thing I see that I would have bought if they weren't messed up. But they're messed up. We're stuck in traffic. But I thought I would show you the Miller House, built in 1825. This says um, it's the headquarters of the Washington County Historical Society. Are we in Washington County, uh, yes. Vinny? Yes, we sure are. Oh no, now the music started. We have to turn it off. Well, drat, drat, drat. I've been wanting one of these in green and silver and cream. And of course I find one. A lot of silver loss and there's a chip on the spout. I'll keep looking because I don't want one that's in perfect that's got a, uh, that's has an imperfection. It's only $3, but it's a Hall Dripolator coffee pot from the 30s and 40s, but that's my color. And I don't want it for display, I wanna use it. So I really don't want one that has a chip on the spout. And it's a pretty good sized chip. So unfortunately, even though it's a great, sorry, price, because of the damage, we're gonna keep on walking. There are many nice things to see in this booth, which, which happens to be 20% off. The little biscuit jar is 18, made in Japan. The Scotty Planter is 18, 95. Of course, that's without the 20% off. Look at the trinket in the Colonial Woman. That's 27. Lots of salt and pepper shakers. There's an old sifter from the 30s. That is $28. There's some Jubilee pattern plates by Lancaster. See those? I think those might be $10 per plate. Mid-century glass, $50 for that chip and dip bowl. Some Faustoria in blue. Hmm. Let's see here. I see some old casters, pocket warmer, toys, and Tupperware, lots of Tupperware. Let's see what Vinny found in it. Green tin. And it says old fashioned creamy mints. Are any in there? No, I wish there was. But they'd probably still be good. <laughs> <laughs> they might. Okay, let's see what we've got over here. Oh, another 20% off, Vinny. Little rooster, are they roosters? Pheasants, I guess that's a pheasant. Salt and pepper shakers. Look at Humpty Dumpty back there. He's just a sitting on his wall. We won't knock him down. We wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Jello molds and more 
Tupperware. I think I went out of focus. I'll fix you. Now I'm out of town. You think my nemesis is here? Probably. If she is, your money or your life. Put down that carnival glass now. Psh. I wouldn't do that. Twenty dollars. I don't know. I don't think I need a toy gun. Let's see what's over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't talk. Okay, history buffs. Now, I'm not Googling this, so I hope that my memory serves, but does anybody know the significance? Let's pull this out back here. Of the Pan Am exhibition, 1901 in Buffalo. What happened? What horrible event took place? I hope I'm right on that. I'm, I'm almost certain that I am. 1901 Pan Am exhibition in uh, Buffalo, New York. You know what happened? Mother had nothing to do with it. Uh, you, you history people know, right? That's when uh, McKinley was assassinated. Poor old, poor old William McKinley. He was shaking hands outside of the music pavilion when he was assassinated. Did you know that, Vinny? I'm I think, sure I've heard it in yeah. history class, but because I hated my history teachers, I refused oh, to. Oh, no. I loved my history teachers. My history teachers. I loved all of history. Now I have to turn this off because who is that? Burl Ives? Burl Ives is going to get me in trouble. So, well, I guess we'll just do a voiceover. Yes, it seems as though these days, the, the day after Halloween is the day to start playing Christmas music. It was everywhere. Uh, you and I remember when they didn't start playing Christmas music until about two weeks before Christmas. Look at this 1930s General Electric mixer back here in the corner. I, <clears throat> excuse me, was attracted to it. It didn't have original old glass bowls, but it was only $50, and that's one I don't see too much. Very industrial in its design. It hasn't quite achieved that streamlined modern yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hard to find. And I, it's reflected in the price. Three mixing bowls, but look, you've got the original Fire King tag in there by Anchor Hawking. Uh, in, in what collectors call the Philby pattern. I've never seen the mixing bowls, the nesting set, and the classic uh, D-handled uh, mug is even rarer. That you couldn't really hard to see the tag, but it was about $50. I think I've only found one of those in my lifetime. That's the second one. So lots of uh, Sapphire Philby there, very popular. Uh, well, I, I think just after the war, or after the, and during the war. Well, that's it for today's shopping trip. We'll leave you with this funny little pair right here. You get a surprise when you spin them around. Thank you for shopping with me and Vintage Vinny here in lovely, <clears throat> excuse me, Hagerstown, Maryland. And please join me and Vinny uh, tonight. And most importantly, on um, Saturday night, we're going to have a live uh, chat and live sale. Just a chit chat, some trivia, and we're going to uh, also have a little bit of a live sale. So I hope you'll come back for that. Probably 8 p.m. on Saturday night. We'll leave you with uh, one of my favorite quotes from one of the best, one of the greatest first ladies of this country of all time. And I will say, don't forget... To wait for the cat, I'm Scott from the old Curiosity Shop saying thanks for watching and so long for now.